Uh, oh, hey Eric, uh, what's wrong? Well, the inside of my electron microscope is dirty. Uh, you know the beam energy from the electron microscope is not enough to fry bacon, right? What? No, I haven't been trying to fry bacon in my microscope recently. I mean, <laughs> who, would, who would do that? Yeah, so what sort of problems are you having? Well, it doesn't matter how I clean my samples. Once they go inside the microscope, I have all these contamination issues. You know, you get dark boxes over everything. And on top of that, I have a lot of image and stigmator drifting issues. Well, it does sound like the inside surfaces of your microscope are saturated with adsorbed hydrocarbons. Yes, what you said. Well, hydrocarbons inside your microscope will very quickly contaminate your sample and then polymerize under the beam, which is why your image gets dark, since the secondary electron coefficient of carbon is very, very low. And as you've seen with your samples, this causes a lack of surface detail and washed out contrast. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But hydrocarbons will cause other problems as well. By coating the surfaces of detectors inside the microscope, eventually they'll decrease the efficiency of signal collection. Even worse, if too many hydrocarbons accumulate on the final lens, it can be very difficult to correct for astigmatism and may also cause the image to drift. So what should I do? Well, do you have a chamber cleaner? Uh, yeah, I do have a cleaner. Uh, I got it from the microscope manufacturer even, but it doesn't really seem to work that great. So I just never bother using it. Well, it sounds like you need the GV10X DS Asher. Okay, what does that do? It's a downstream Asher from IBSS Group, and it cleans out vacuum systems like a thing that cleans out stuff real good. So is it a pain to use like my other cleaner? No way, Jose. It is a breeze to set up and easy to use. Like, how easy? You don't have to vent the chamber to use the GV10X. It works great while the instrument is running at high vacuum. Oh, that is awesome. So do I just turn it on and it runs or what? It can be operated manually or automatically based on chamber pressure. So for example, you can set up the system to run in a preset way just by turning on the power. Or you can change the settings to do specific things like a light cleaning or a heavy cleaning of the chamber, or you can clean your samples while they're inside the microscope. Samples inside the microscope? Neato! The GV10X has really popularized the idea of being able to clean your samples in situ. Uh, you really couldn't do that with earlier types of cleaners. Will this work on other kinds of instruments besides an electron microscope? Absolutely! The GV10X is great for cleaning all kinds of vacuum systems, from SEMs and FIBs to TEMs and other standalone vacuum systems. Wow, well thanks for the info. I'm going to go check it out right now.